Hi everyone, welcome to my pool plan video in DFFOO global version of the game with September 2021. Specifically, this video will be covering banners and events where XDEF will be featured as a synergy unit and you can refer to the cropped infographic on the left hand side of the slide to see which events these are. This infographic was derived from Jake Matt's global forecast so do check it out as well, I'll put a link to it in the video description. The events will be the raid event featuring the release of XDEF's BT and XDEF will also be getting a rework, Zandi's Lost Chapters and finally Act 3 Chapter 4.2. Just some quick disclaimers before going into the video. This pool plan is very personalized based on my current resources and of course which characters would fit or complement my current available roster and for those reasons it may or may not be ideal for the next person I'm a very big advocate of always planning based on um, your own level of resources and who you think you'd like to use There's always many factors that should be considered when deciding to pull and uh, as I mentioned your current resources, your current roster which content you need to clear, and of course, who your favorite characters are. There's multiple approaches to defeating the Lufinia stages and playing the game, and so really um, many different combinations of characters will work for you. Before heading into the banners, just want to make a quick mention that compared to my previous pool plan videos, I won't really be mentioning who the synergy characters are for each event moving forward from here. In the past, I included this information because back when Chaos Challenge was first introduced, it was quite important to build synergy characters so that you can complete Chaos Challenge quests. Nowadays, due to power creep, it's really less important because if you have one of the current LDBT characters built, he or she can really hard carry one or two other characters, so it's not really that important or a must-have to have all three characters or all three synergy characters fully built. So for that reason, I, I will be excluding mentioning who all the synergy characters are from this event forwards. Alright, so starting from the first event, which is the event featuring the release of XDEF's first weapon, there's going to be two banners here. The first banner will feature XDEF's LDBT. XDEF's LD isn't new, it's been released before and alongside him we have Kieran with his LD weapon which is also a rerun and finally we have Tancred. On the second banner we have the newly released Lion's LD and we have a rerun of Pignus's LD and uh, XDEF with just his burst weapon. Age is also featured on the second banner but notably both Age and Tancred only has their EX weapons or weapons up to their EX released at this point. My plan here is actually aiming hard on the first banner at the top and I will be using gems straight away. The weapon I'm aiming for is actually going to be XDEF's LD because I actually skipped XDEF in the past. I only have his 15 and 35 CP weapon and I think one copy of his EX weapon and I've never used XDEF before. Same thing with Karen as well, I skipped Karen back in the past and I don't have his weapons fully built. So the first banner is actually a value banner for me and I'll be using gems straight in uh, just to see how many of all these weapons I can get. But the price for me will be XDEF's LD. I will stop once I score his LD and I can just token the rest of the weapons and use power stones. Uh, I'm not too fast about the burst weapon. You know, for XDEF, if I get it, it's good. If I don't, uh, I'll just leave with doubt and move on. To quickly mention on the second banner featuring Lion's LD and Ignis, the second banner is actually a value banner for me because I also skipped Ignis's LD in the past. And of course, uh, if I pull on the second banner, I could score both Ignis and Lion's LD. That being said though, I'm not a big fan of Ignis. I, I have done fairly well without him so far and I don't see a big need or I don't even see myself using him in the near future. For Lion's LD, it's actually a pain. Lion is actually pretty good uh, coming up with the release of her LD. 
Um, and she does have some decent utility in the sense that she can dispel buffs on the enemy party as well. One buff for each full up attack and I believe uh, all the buffs when she uses her EX which is fairly frequent. So she is fairly reliable as a dispeller and she does pretty good single target DPS as well. That being said though, you know, if I want to pull on both banners it seems pretty painful in terms of resources so I will be really only aiming for the banner featuring x LD. Coming up, we have Sunday's Lost Chapters uh, featuring a rerun of Sunday's LD and a rework for Zell with his newly released LD as well. Now this is still actually a little bit of a dilemma for me. I'm leaning more towards skipping this banner. Initially, I was actually aiming to ticket to aim to get Zell's LD. Unfortunately though, um, I had close to a thousand tickets in the in Yuna's cycle and I burned through all 1000 tickets over the course of two banners. So uh, I had terrible RNG in the last few banners and I actually don't have any more tickets for this banner. I could go in with gems but considering I'm already using gems uh, on XTEF's banner, it seems a little bit excessive uh, for me. The other thing working against Zell is that he has Zande as his banner mate, and I'm, I really don't think Zande is all that good in the current meta. I mean, he is Lufania viable, but there's really many other units that you can use alongside Zande. In terms of timing as well, um, as everyone probably know by now, we have uh, the release of BT Plus weapons coming up right after this arc, starting from Zidane's uh, BT Plus in the next arc. So just in a matter of weeks after the release of this event, um, we will be looking at the next level of power creep. So you know, Zell is actually pretty good uh, looking at his, dam uh, his rework. His damage is bumped up to I guess sort of top tier damage although more focusing on the single target side and he does feature rebreaks as well in his uh, newly uh, reworked kit so he is pretty formidable but really uh, it is really a pain uh, but really if I think about it um, you know in terms of the DPS I'm fairly comfortable at this stage with Cotton recently a very strong DPS and there will be coming up very strong DPS units in the form of Zidane and Ace as well. So to me, you know, there's really a less need for Zell at this stage. One other factor to consider also is Zell will be returning in Liyut's uh, banner as well. And that may be a good time to start pulling for his LD. That being said though, that banner will only be estimated to arrive around February next year. So if you really want to use Zell, this is the banner to aim for. But if you feel you are fairly comfortable to do without him, you know, then you can pretty much survive without him and just wait for BT Plus uh, era to come. To me, like I said, I'm leaning more towards a skip. But let's see how I feel, how I go. Yeah, if if I've got lucky on X Def's banner and score his LD pretty early, I may consider sinking some gems on this banner, hoping to score Zell's LD. The final banner on this arc will be actually chapter 4.2, this time featuring the release of Vivi's LD. This is not a new LD weapon because Vivi was a global first, and uh, we also have a rerun of Deuce's LD. To me, this banner is a no-brainer. Uh, I will skip this banner because I already have Vivi's LD. Vivi will get his LD boards as well on this event, so his power level will be bumped up a little bit uh, to be more in line with the current meta. I don't have Deuce's LD, but I don't have any plans chasing for or any intentions chasing for Deuce's LD at this point. I'm pretty happy with the support characters I currently have. And we, there are actually pretty strong supports coming up in the next arc after this as well. For example, uh, Ishtola and Bards with their BT plus weapons. So this banner is definitely a hard skip for me.
Alright, so on this section of the video, I will be looking at all the characters who have LD weapons on the banners and I'll try to sort of categorize them based on who I think would be recommended, who I think uh, you should pull for if you are lacking certain roles in your roster, and which LD characters are sort of like consolation prizes. Um, quick disclaimer on how to look and review this analysis is that this is really based on my recommendation depending on you know, if you have limited resources in terms of gems, tickets, power stones or ingots this would be um, an idea on how to approach the game doesn't mean that one character is, is significantly better than the other like I've always said all characters with their LD weapons are Lufania viable and if you like a certain character there's nothing wrong with, with aiming for it but um, really you know, at, at this point of the game um, you should consider saving resources a little bit as well considering BT plus is just around the corner and there are quite a lot of hype bits coming up in the next arc so overall in terms of recommended characters uh, in this arc I think xdev is the main prize um, if you do manage to pull his kit, at least up to his LD weapon, plus minus his BT weapon, he will be a very strong unit to bring as synergy across uh, these three events. But beyond that, uh, XDEF does fulfill a very, very rare niche in the sense that his damage is sort of considered so-called true damage in the sense that it doesn't... Um, get calculated based on the enemy's defense or brave damage resistances at all. His damage is purely based on his attack stat. So meaning even if the boss has say 1000% buff to his defense and 1000% brave damage resistance, x damage is not affected uh, because again it is only based on solely on his attack stat as well. Not many characters carry this type of damage. Um, and so I think that is a very good utility to have uh, which you, you can actually bring um, on fights where the bosses are extremely tanky. Beyond that, as far as I'm aware, XDEF is the only character to feature HP poison in his kit and his rework along with his BT weapon makes his HP poison much more formidable and it does represent significant DPS for him as well. Um, so on that basis, um, where not many other characters actually have the same utility as him, I think he, he would be a great addition to anyone's roster. In the next category, we have role fulfillment and I include Zell, Lion and Karen here. Now role fulfillment, uh, the way I look at it, uh, the way I look at these characters is that uh, these characters are actually pretty good. But uh, depending on the roles that you need, right? So, for example, Zell is a fantastic DPS character, and with his rework and LD, probably one of the top tier ones. But at the same time, there are also many other top tier DPS characters. So, you know, if if you feel your roster is lacking in DPS characters and you've been struggling in the past few fights, then Zell is actually a fantastic pickup. Likewise, with Lion as well, uh, she does very good single target DPS. Uh, and she does have this spell in her uh, kit as well. So if you are lacking characters who can dispel enemy buffs, then Lion is actually a pretty decent pickup. Um, for me, um, and there could be others in, in the same situation as me as well, I feel really fairly comfortable with DPS at the moment. Um, as top tier DPS, I already have uh, Tifa and Van, and they also specialize in single target DPS. Lastly, we have Karen on this bucket. Uh, Karen, with his LD bots, actually is one of the best uh, aura bots in the game. And he is a very strong uh, aura character, featuring boosts in attack, max brave, brave damage up, HP damage up, and uh, initial brave and defense as well in his kit. So he brings a lot of boosts to the party just by standing there in battle um, and his DPS is actually pretty decent as well so he is quite a, a strong character 
um, it's really only timing at this point that's uh, keeping him from being put in the recommended bucket for me. Um, aura bots are coming up. Uh, we actually had Yuna uh, recently, and she is a pretty decent aura bot on her own. And coming up, we have Ishtola and Bards as well, which uh, many people are actually hyped for, myself included. And the question I ask myself is that once I do pull for Ishtola and Bards, for example, will I really be using a lot of Karen? And to, to me, really, it's, it's less often that I'll be using Karen by then. So just for that reason, I put him in the role fulfillment uh, category. Um, as with Zell and Lion, though, you know, if you really feel you want more support characters in your roster, Karen is a fantastic pickup in that regards. Coming to the consolation prizes, these characters here I think are good if you you know pull them while you're chasing for the other characters. But I, I don't really see a need to go out of your way just to chase for them specifically. Uh, starting with Deus and Ignis, you know, both of these characters are also support characters. But really, you know, if you want a support character, I think it's better to aim for Kieran. Um, and Yuna, she is still available at the time of this video. As far as x goes, goes, um, he is the only character in the game able to enchant the party with Dark. So he does have some uh, rare utility in his kit. But I didn't really like his kit when he was first released. I did pull for his entire gear, including his LD, but I didn't really use him past his uh, synergy event. The main thing that really irked me back then was that his ramp up time was just too long, and I'd rather just you know use other characters that uh, can ramp up much more quickly than him. Vivi did see a lot of use back in the day when he was the global first, and he is a very strong DPS character. Some people uh, may not like the fact that his kit actually drains HP from the party, which can be a bit dangerous. At the same time though, you can use it to your advantage. Uh, for example, draining the, the party's HP will trigger summon blessings. Um, but on the other hand though, I think really much the same reason as Zell and Lion, you know, at this point I'm pretty comfortable with DPS characters. And if you do want characters that can do decent damage, Personally, I think I would rather aim for x Zell, or maybe even Lion over VV at this point. So for that reason, I place VV as a consolation prize. So that's it for this video. Uh, long story short, I will be using gems for x LD on the first raid event. I will be skipping Ignis and Lion. I, I don't want to spend too much resources if I can help it at this point. As for Zell, it is still a dilemma. I am leaning more towards skipping him, but I may reconsider to pull if I get lucky on x uh, LD banner. Lastly, for VV and Deuce, it's really a hard skip for me. I have VV fully built, including his LD, and I have no interest in Deuce. That's it for, for this video. Um, if you enjoyed the content, do hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps a lot. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.